Now, like many of you, I was intrigued by the new red carbon face on the tailor-made stealth driver. Was this in fact due to be the start of a new era? What tailor-made called the carbon era? Or was it just a load of hype? This golf club that I've got in hand is also very interesting and uh, we've you to come very soon. Very first shot I've ever hit with it. Woof. Wow. That's a decent start. You see, I've had this driver in my bag now for, well, for six months. And, uh, well, I think it's about time I give you my honest thoughts on just how good this driver is. Or not so good. Right. Let's see what it does on this hole, at least. Yeah, that's solid. It was good on that one, anyway. You see, I've got to admit, I was initially sold on the looks and perhaps the intrigue of this carbon wood face driver. And I've got to say, the novelty hasn't worn off. I really enjoy hitting, playing golf with this driver every time I get out on the golf course. So yeah, I enjoy the looks of it. I love the sound of it. And ultimately, I love the performance of it. But I came about that close from making a huge mistake with this stealth driver. You see, many of you will know if you watch this channel frequently that, uh, well, I got custom fit for this shaft and head combination. And I've got to say, without this shaft in place, there's high probability that I wouldn't have the stealth in the bag. Stay, stay online, stay online. And that shaft is the main reason why things went so well for me when I first got the stealth. But the shaft was also the reason why things, well, they nearly went horribly wrong. Now, there is an age-old argument that sort of debates what the most important sort of component is in terms of uh, a golf club makeup. Is it the head or is it in fact the shaft? I'm loving this new little uh, five hybrid from off the green, by the way. Now, I am a strong advocate of uh, custom fit, as you all know on this channel. And I think this story that I'm about to tell you, well, all that's going to do is reinforce that theory. Right, can we make par with an eight-footer? No, we can't, is the answer to that one. But obviously, you want my honest thoughts on the performance of the Stealth Driver. And don't forget, this is the standard product, by the way, not the Stealth Plus. And I've got to say that just overall it's performed consistently is the word I would use. Ball speed has been good, I think, across the club base. We've done plenty of indoor stuff in terms of Trackman to suggest there's a bit of forgiveness there. But the reality is what's happened over the last six months in terms of out here on the golf course. And I've kind of drove the ball plenty long enough. I've drove the ball consistently straighter, I would say. I'd say my fairways in reg are up, although I don't record that data. But more importantly, I'm a lot more confident with this club in hand than I have been with driver, or well, for quite some years, to be honest with you. And as I put the kiss of death and curse on that, this will probably now backfire on me. No. And again, just the ability just to, you know, that's a little bit of a left to right shot, plenty of control. Confidence is huge, but there is a big but. And for that but, we need to go back to the story about the shaft because it's a really important part of this tale. This shaft is a Proforce V2 5F3HL. I'll put more detail on exactly what that means. High launching, regular shaft. But the key feature is that it's one inch shorter than standard. And there is a tale that explains more than ever why that has been so important, well, to me at least. Now, I'd love some feedback from you because this stealth uh, range has been out obviously for six months now. I know it's been a huge seller. And I've heard sort of, I think the majority of people that play it have been really positive towards it. But I've also heard some forms of negativity as well. I suppose that's the same with uh, any of us that buy new product. The minute the game goes a little bit pear-shaped, then we, uh, yeah, we call it names. But 
What I'd like to know from you is, is a general sense of opinion. If you've tried stealth, even if that be tried it as in a driving range or had a little bit of a demo of it, or indeed it's in your bag, what are your thoughts on it? Now I can also tell you not everything in the garden is rosy. As you can just see, I still managed to find, we haven't measured that, but we'll take a bit of a drop there. That was, uh, took a wicked kick and we've ended up in the gorse with this driver that's supposed to be oh so fantastic. Right, let's see if we can make it home from here with a bit of a drop shot. Up and down from, oof, a fair old way out. That's a super strike. This is that new club that I'm reviewing last week. Oh my word. Oh. That's a golf shot. Should have played that off the tee instead of this driver. But things went, or very close to be going horribly wrong, very, very quickly. And that all stemmed down to, uh, well, down to being confident. I got super confident with the driver, didn't feel like I could miss. And uh, I did that thing we do quite regularly as golfers. I love to make a change. So the confidence grew with the driver. I started to hit more consistently. I began to, uh, well, ramp up that sort of club head speed, started to go after a few of them. And uh, I thought realistically, I can't go wrong. So uh, I managed to get my hands on the same shaft, that Proforce V2, but now one inch longer. So back to being a standard 45 and a half inch long driver shaft. Where could I possibly go wrong? Well, I just went massively wrong off the tee because all of a sudden this is to make bogey. Turn. I think we call that a good bogey. Yeah, this is the exact same shaft in terms of Proforce V2, but it is in fact 5F4HL. And what that effectively means, apart from the fact it goes back to that sort of standard length, it's also a stiff shaft as well. But I took it out on the fairways, I took it in the driving range, my confidence was really high coming off what I was using in terms of that standard product, and I was ripping this thing. I was hitting this as long, if not longer, than any other driver I was ever used. Stealth was flying right now, but that didn't last very long. You see, very quickly, it all became a little bit more wayward. All of a sudden, I was getting back to that sort of three off the tee situation, which was a real nemesis of my game with driver. My control had gone, then you start to swing that little bit faster. Tempo starts to go, and uh, was stealth a major problem? Or was it, in fact, the change of shaft just that one inch, don't forget, that little bit of difference. Had that been the thing that had made all the difference? Surely not. Yeah, so once again on this channel, I felt victim of my own sort of, uh, well, not practicing what I preach a lot of the time, which is about playing shorter length shaft for most average golfers particularly in driver, greater control and ultimately finding the center of the club face just that little bit more. And very, very quickly, I swapped the shafts back and all of a sudden, coincidentally, I think not, my driver game returned. The confidence came back, the control came back and the distance, well, maybe that was never a thing anyway. Maybe I never gained anything whatsoever by that longer shaft because they sort of offset each other by the fact that I'm finding the center of the club face more often. And ultimately, we all know that's where all the ball speed exists. So this video for me, well, it's almost been like a therapy session. And I'm sure that uh, it'll probably relate to many of you in that idea of chasing distance, particularly with driver, is an absolute killer for average golfers. And what we should be chasing is the consistency that I already had in that stealth in the shorter shaft. But ultimately, you want to know my sort of opinion on six months with stealth. And the fact is, I still love that driver. I love it as much as the day I got it. I love the fact that it's that little bit different. I love the fact that TaylorMade have done something different. Many people hate the marketing claims, the red face, the carbon wood, and the complete opposite. I like the idea that they've uh, tried to create something different and generate more interest in the game of golf. And I know there are many different opinions around that. But for me, 
I love the way it sounds and feels, I love the way it looks at a dress, it ticks all the boxes and ultimately performance wise it's been really really steady. The argument still goes, what was the most important factor? Well certainly the shaft played a major part in that performance. So overall I just love the driver and uh, what I've got to not do is chase distance and leave it in the bag. Right, the other thing that I've learned uh, today is just how good a hybrid can be in and around the greens, don't let me down. And if you go in, that'd be just uh, the perfect end. Not quite. Right, we'll finish up by saying thank you for watching. Uh, I asked a question earlier on in the video about your uh, thoughts around stealth, so please get involved in the comments. Please hit that subscribe button. I uh, really appreciate all your support. Um, one other question that people have posed is why am I filming quite so often up at Hollywell Golf Club? And there's a real reason for that. I'm not going to reveal it in today's video, but it will be an announcement very, very soon. Keep watching. Bye.